What's up, guys? Well, I just got back to the house, just came off the water. It was a rather tough day today out there. This uh, barometric pressure system we got going on here really has them fish kind of shut down. That barometer's all over the place now. Um, that's just something you got to deal with this time of the year. You know, it comes with the territory of Florida fishing this time of the year. But, like I say, the bite was rather tough. Um, I managed to managed to squeak out 12 fish today. Um, they were all right in the 14 inch range. I uh, did happen to catch one around three and a half. But, I mean, it might have been a little bit more higher on the side of three and a half, closer to four, right in that area. But um, the bite was real finicky. Um, I made a bait change about two hours into the day and uh, I was throwing some bigger baits you know you'd feel them you'd, you'd feel them pick it up they didn't really want it you'd feel them pick it up and they drop it you, you just feel light very light tick ticks um, so I may you know and you'd have to drop it back down to them keep it in front of them uh, for a longer period of time when you're drifting you know, sometimes when you're drifting, you're drifting pretty fast, the bait's moving away from them when they drop it, when they don't really want it. So you'd almost have to hit the button and let it sit in front of them for a longer period of time where it gives them more of a time to, you know, come back and, and uh, suck the bait up and, and actually hang on to it. Um, but I made a bait change. You know, I was throwing some longer baits. I went to a smaller bait. I went to a, you know, a, a little 8-inch uh smaller presentation um, and uh, that kind of made the difference you know after after that bait change I ended up catching 12 fish today again you know you, even the three and a half pounder uh, you know when she first ate hit it you just feel just the slightest little tick 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 and then it was gone you know you hit the button kind of feed line out to it let that bait sit in front of the fish with the drift because when you're drifting sometimes, sometimes a, a faster drift is good because you get that reaction, they'll grab it and hang on because the, a faster bait moving by the fish is going to react to it, you know, uh, more of a reaction bite. But today, uh, they didn't want that reaction bite, they didn't want the bait, you almost had to let it sit in front of them. When you're drifting, hit the button and just let it sit there because if you're drifting, you don't hit the button, you just wait for them to come back, you're going to be pulling it further and further away from that fish. Okay, so that kind of made the difference today. Um, Again, uh, the bite was so light, I mean, you almost had a very, very light, even the three and a half pounder, just tick, 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 tick. And uh, she dropped it, you had to let the bait sit in front of it, she came back and ate it. But Reaper Raw is a, such, a, such a sensitive rod. Um, you could feel just about any, I mean, you could feel an air bubble go by that bait if, if it, you know, that, that's how sensitive those Reaper rods are. Uh, very important on a bite like today, having a very sensitive rod. Even when you're Carolina rigging this deep water with a heavier weight, sometimes you, you, it's hard to feel that very light bite. You need a, a very sensitive rod in order to, uh, you know, feel that light bite. That sensitive rod plays a big key on days like today. But anyway, um, uh, 12 fish, you know, everyone was around 14 inches. Biggest one was uh, three and a half, maybe a little bit bigger than three and a half. It, it, I, I didn't weigh it, but I don't think it went over. It, it didn't go over four. Um, somewhere between three and a half and four, I would imagine. Um, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I didn't put, I didn't put all the 14 inches on video. We got the one fish on the video, uh, showing, showing, you know, me putting it over the gunnel. Um, other than that, guys. I'm going to call it a day, go in, and uh, I'm going to eat me some lunch. It's about 1.30. I'm tired. Uh, so anyway, guys, normally fishing. Keep tight lines, and we'll catch everybody on the water. Uh, anybody interested in ever booking a trip with me, uh, give me a call, 863-260-3474. Uh, spells fish. Uh, give me a holler. Guys, normally fishing, tight lines. We're out.
power, guys. That's what it's all about. That's a good, I don't know, probably three and a half. Fish. Look at that belly on her. The sores on her. But pretty fish. Look how white they are. Look how white these placid fish are. These deep water fish. White. You go to Estepoca and catch catch a fish like this. She's gonna be dark, dark, dark. These deep water fish, they are white. Check that out, guys. Nice fish. Reaper rods. Reaper rods, dude. Let's go back and catch us another one. Go back to catch her living every day. 